Tribe Field Hockey picked up a thrilling 4-3 overtime win over Ivy League foe Brown on Friday night at Bushfield. Crazy. Um, I knew that they'd only played two games uh, for the season and Jill Reeve was a former US player that I actually coached. So I knew that structurally they were going to make changes and I, and I really think they did. Um, you know, our girls were able to change with the changes. You know, 20, I think, 23 shots on cage. So the rebounding was probably a little disappointing stuff that we need to work on. But the fact that we're taking 23 shots um, and those shots included, you know, two periods where we had seven B4s going. You know, I think the, the big thing for us is in the first half, the, the change that we said to him is that if you have a shot, take it. Freshman Georgia Morgan scored her first collegiate goal in the 22nd minute to answer an early Brown goal. But the story of the night was senior midfielder Estelle Hughes. Hughes tallied her first career hat trick and fifth career multi-goal game. She notched the game winner four minutes into the second overtime period to give William and Mary the victory. End of double overtime, Annie Sneed passed the ball into me in the circle and I just knew I had one defender to beat and just gave it everything I had, just try to turn and hope that it went on cage, honestly. I think Estelle realizes that, you know, this is the big hurrah season and um, that she's willing every game. Every game is like her last game and that's how she's playing and I think people are definitely following that type of energy on the field so it's it's wonderful that she's healthy um, and and that she can lead by example and she certainly when she's near the circle she's deadly um, she knows what to do with the ball her technique is is strong and sharp so you know hopefully before she leaves some of these younger players will follow her example in the future which is wonderful for us freshman goalkeeper Kimmy Jones came off the bench to pick up the result in her first career action. She made a massive one-on-one -on -one stop of Gina Openshaw in the second OT. Kimmy's a big talker. She she has played club with a lot of these girls and I sort of said to her, Kim, you talk or you're coming off. So she definitely added that spark and she's very quick um, in that sense. Like her 1v1 skills are very strong in front of cage and, and she gets up and down very quickly. So it was definitely, you know, if we'd gone to 7v7 if Morgan had finished the game out I'd probably put Kim in anyhow just because she's she's very good at those 1v1s. The Tribe evened its season record at 2-2 two two with the overtime win and learned from its setback in extra time last week against Old Dominion. Yeah it's amazing you know we learned a lot of lessons from our overtime against ODU there's a lot of things we could have done better from the start and I think that one thing we proved on is just our effort level you know we went down four players in the overtime and it was just heart that got us over the line in the end. I think it's like anything in life when, when you falter, you want to make sure the next time it happens that you've learned from that mistake. And, and we say that all the time after each game. Let's talk about the good, the bad, the evil, and what changes are we going to make if we had to hit the rewind button? What are we going to do? And, and it was definitely something that the team um, and the coaching staff had spoken to and sort of said, look, if this happens, you know, we have a very strong unit. Um, you know, our core group that we send out there in the 7v7 and, and the subs rolling off is that uh, we're, we're a strong unit so we, we knew that if it was presented to us again that we weren't going to lose. William Mary returns to action on Sunday at 1pm against in-state rival VCU at Bushfield.